guys! This is Nikki with This Robin's Nest and today's video is going to be a small collective haul and I also want to thank you guys for watching. I reached over 200 subscribers just the other day and it was really exciting because I never thought I'd have even more than like 25 subscribers so maybe a small itty bitty teeny tiny milestone for um, YouTubers who have a gazillion subscribers but I'm pretty happy with what I have and grateful and thankful for the people that are watching so or I should say the friends that are watching so thank you guys for um, tuning into the videos and um, I look forward to making some more for you in fact I want to thank you guys for your feedback on some new types of videos that I could come up with and so this month I'm going to be adding a DIY video um, per viewer request and then a um, small home decor related video so look forward to those at the end of the month and let's get started here so the first place that I went to was JC Penney's. I took my daughter up to the mall, let her burn some energy because the hallways are so long that she can just like run and then play on the toys. And I ended up going into JC Penney, which I don't go into a whole lot, but since we went the stretch of the mall, I walked in and I found this embellished tank, which I just love. And I picked it up for a trip to California that we're going to be taking. And this is by a brand called Jeans by Buffalo, which I've never heard of before, but I really like the tank. So if if I like the clothing item, I really could care less what the brand is. Um, I paid $9.99 for it. It's a nice neutral color, so I could do layering with it, wear a cardigan and over it in different seasons. Okay, so that's what I got from JCPenney's. Next, we move on to Bath & Body Works. Now, I don't really need anything from Bath & Body Works, but my husband was out of Scent Portable refills for his work vehicle he uses, and they were buy three, get one free, and they run three fifty. dollars So it was $10.50 for four refills. I got three for my husband, and then I kept the free one, which was watermelon lemonade. And these aren't great for big spaces, but if you have really little spaces, like even if you put it in your... Um, what would you call it, unmentionables drawer, <laughs> your lingerie drawer, or where you keep your dainties, I guess. Uh, it makes a great replacement for like a sachet, and you can get it in your favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. So that's probably where I'm going to use mine, or you can use it in your car, or in a closet environment. I wouldn't even, I don't even think it would fill up a guest bathroom, to be honest with you. They're not really overpowering, but they're great for small, confined spaces. So we picked up those, and then I had a coupon with that. So for $10.50, we got four of those, and I got to pick out a free item, and I picked out this Market Peach Candle. And mm, it smells so good. This is more of like a summer fragrance to me, though, so I'll probably hold off on burning this for a while. Okay, and then I had a separate coupon for a free item for my daughter with no purchase necessary and so she picked out this strawberry antibacterial and then we moseyed on into Target and they did have a new collection coming into the dollar spot so I picked up a couple of the items but it looks like they'll probably be getting more and they kind of trickle in over time it's kind of ah I don't know it's a little bit annoying because you have to go in so many different times if you want to catch all the items in a certain collection because they don't tend to come in all together so let me show you what I got. And these are great items for crafting, and they're all in neutral colors, and so that's why I really like this collection. These are paper bags, and kind of see the little ideas it gives on the bottom there. They're a six count, I believe. Turn around. Yeah, and these are in white. Then I picked up craft bags in kind of this brown paper bag color. And I think I'm probably going to use these for my daughter's birthday party to put her favors in and then embellish them. This burlap bag with the um, string. And this, again, is great for crafting. You could stamp on this. If you're going to a little kid's birthday party, you could stamp the year on the front, so if they're turning four or whatever year, you could use it for anything really and do some stamping on it and or you could even maybe pin a big flower to the front would be really cute lots of different things you could do with that I picked up this 20 pack of mini clothes pins yeah. 
these are some little tags with twine. Again, great for stamping and using things like washi tape on them. And yeah, these are really fun. You can use these for so many things. I was excited to find those. So I picked up some pink jute twine. That was really adorable. So all of those items were fun. Those are all my finds from the dollar spot with the exception of this one item, this little baby blue pill. It is my daughter's favorite color. And a couple more things from Target, which literally, oh my gosh, like if I could find a way to make these appropriate for an adult, um, I would totally buy these shoes. But I picked these up for my daughter in the prettiest mint color. I wish I had these in flats. I don't know. Maybe without the bow. I don't know how I make them work. <laughs> but I got them for her. They were $14.99 and I, I just think they are just the cutest thing. And yeah, she's going to get lots of wear out of those as long as she doesn't have a major growth spurt <laughs> before the end of spring, which is very possible. That is something that's difficult with any of you who have kids. You spend money on clothing and shoes and they are constantly outgrowing them and you never know if they're going to be in them for three months, a month, six months. You just never know when the growth spurts are coming. So then I have to admit I, I have an issue here because... I just, if there was a class for like Banner Addiction Anonymous, I would totally need to go to it because I am obsessed with banners. I just have so many and I just, I guess you could say I collect them at this point because um, I just, I have a problem. I have a problem. Okay, so I picked up, I saw this banner on Miss Stone Home, um, one of her videos, and this is a bunny burlap banner by the brand Threshold see that there and then I also took it out to show you and it's just so natural looking which is what I love about it it's reminiscent of um, in my opinion of Pottery Barn which is my favorite all-time store I am yes I love Pottery Barn all things Pottery Barn so this is what the bunny looks like and this is the back of one of them so you can see the of the ribbon that they use there. It's a nice neutral color. Um, it's not too overpowering. It's just it can go with so many things and I just love it. $5.99. Then I picked up another banner because why stop at one banner when you can buy two and you already have two for the holiday which equals four which equals the problem. <laughs> so this is the other banner that I got for $5.99 from the brand Threshold. Okay, and it's on a bunch of different fabrics. They're all different, and they have the letters kind of um, sewn onto them there. Whoop, oops a daisy. So lots of, oops, that one doesn't have a letter on it. Oh, it does, it's on the back side. Okay, and then there's like this pink stripe, and it's kind of green color. Anyways, you get the point. Cute, 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 cute. So I picked up those banners. And then I was cut off. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys is a couple of items that I got in my Pop Sugar box. Now I did an unboxing of Pop Sugar and then I wasn't really happy with a couple of the boxes. I didn't really feel like they were worth sharing and so um, I didn't share them. But I did get a couple of items in this month's box that I was really happy and excited about so I thought I would show them to you guys. The first item is from, I believe it's called Bobble Bar. And it is this cute little elephant. And what it is used for is putting like your rings on top of it. So yeah, they just hang from the elephant trunk, which I thought was really cute. And I don't have anything to stack my rings on per se. So it was kind, kind of a fun trinket. Then I also received this serum which is by a brand Jerlique. I haven't tried it yet, but I have wanted to try this brand for a while. So is it focusing there? I can't see. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> oh yes. How could I forget this? This is one of my favorite brands of jewelry. It is, oh gosh, I am, 
I am the worst at my own language. Like English and pronouncing things, I just, I don't even know if I'm going to get this right. But it's kind of sad. I need to work on it. I'm going to try to do better. I think it's dog-eared. It's one of my favorite brands. And this is a Make-A-Wish Lucky Horseshoe Necklace. And these are gold dipped. And I have a couple of them. I have a wishbone, I have a heart, and I have, what's the other one I have? I don't know. I think I have three of these necklaces, but I have the ones that actually have the gold dip chains as well. And this is more of a, like a string or a twine. But I just love this brand. It's so simple. They're handmade in the USA. I think that they are from, I think the company originates in California. And they just go with everything. They are just so dainty and feminine. And I like them. I just really like this company. So, you know how sometimes you're just drawn to things? I just feel like that brand is representative of kind of my style a little bit. And then I got this gorgeous, 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 gorgeous scarf. And it is by a company called Broke Down. And it's kind of like, what do you call it, iCat? And it's this cobalt blue and gray and white. And I, gosh, you know what? I feel like I'm obsessed with a lot of things because I really like these too. I have quite a few. <laughs> but it's just so easy to throw on in the colors. I just, I love it. So I just thought I'd share a couple of those things with you guys. And I hope that you've had a great week. And I hope you're looking forward to a couple of new types of videos, which I'll have up at the end of the month. And thank you for your feedback. And thank you so much for watching. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm making these videos now and I'm learning as I go and I feel like you guys are growing with me through the learning process which is kind of neat and fun because you're you're still here you haven't ditched me yet <laughs> and um, my videos started kind of really archaic like they're um, you know I have a lot to learn so thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it I'm having a lot of fun oh and I guess I'll show you guys what I'm wearing today since I actually got dressed <laughs> I have on my pink Michael Kors watch, which I used all of my gift cards from holiday to purchase. And then I have on a Stella and Dot necklace. And I have on this Ann Taylor Loft kind of purple eggplant color shirt, t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. And then, let's see, those are, these are my Hudson jeans. So, and they're, they're cropped down at the bottom, which, see? <laughs> And no shoes, so decided to show you guys what I was wearing today since I actually got dressed. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.